Hey guys, today I am going to talk about cost of opportunity. So why cards are not an investment. I'm going to use uh, three different card games that were heavily pitched to you by multiple YouTube channels as investments. Uh, Disney Locana, One Piece, and then MetaZoo. All these were touted as great investments. MetaZoo is not no longer in business. It's in bankruptcy court right now. And at one time, people were paying $8,200 for five kits of not even the first set, the Nightfall edition. At one time, the Kickstarter first edition booster box of MetaZoo was $10,000. People thought that it would be $100,000 in a few years. And right now, you can buy a box for easily less than 1000 I think less than 800 on eBay currently, if you want it. Um, yeah, people treat card games as investments. And something that I have learned is, you know, I, I did, I did an experiment a few years ago during COVID, I put $350,000 into the stock market. I put $350,000 into Pokemon sealed. I put $350,000 into, uh, magic, the gathering sealed slash some reserve list at the time. So Magic was actually more. It was closer to half a million. Magic's done okay. The reserve list has stood up. The boxes have lost half their value. Uh, War of the Spark boxes, if you don't remember, was like $150, $160, pushing $160 retail. And now it's less than 100 on, you know, Dave and Adams or even TCG Player. Sometimes you see it for 105 110 which means after fees, the seller is netting less than 100 after fees and shipping. So let me be uh, very clear as to like why I'm making this video. I, I learned an important lesson that cards, you know, in this experiment um, where I put money into various different types of uh, investments at the time. Uh, and they weren't even, you know, I actually put a, a little bit, I think, maybe 30,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have some pretty banger Yu-Gi-Oh cards, honestly, um, that have gone down. So Yu-Gi-Oh cards have gone down anywhere between 50 to 60. Uh, I, luckily, I didn't buy Yu-Gi-Oh sealed. So, you know, at least I didn't buy sealed. I bought singles. Man, it is a blood money effing bath, guys. It is a blood bath. And I don't really know how else to uh, say this. Um, the S&P 500, the other things that I put money into, uh, they've done incredibly, incredibly well. Um, the only things that have not done well, um, you know, just between me and you, the only things that have not done well is the card investments. And you look at, uh, I look at them and I say, man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's night and day you know, of what I thought we would be and then what it actually is. Um, now, did I have fun? Yeah, I had fun. And if you say, hey, you treat it as a hobby. And most hobbies like golf, I live right next to a golf course. We just had the, we had a very big tournament. Unfortunately, I couldn't go. I was supposed to go to the tournament. I actually had tickets, but uh, I didn't have the time. We had to uh, visit a hospital at the time. But um, yeah, man, that was a, a pretty interesting, you know, I live, uh, it was uh, the live golf tournament. Live, yeah, live. Not PGA, live. And yeah, I mean, golf costs a shit ton of money. Membership at my local golf club is $15,000 a year. That doesn't include food, caddies, any any of that stuff, right? Carts, any of that stuff. And like having a kid is very expensive. So there are things in life that you want. Uh, obviously, having kids not a hobby that is quite expensive to do. And you enjoy it. So if you're investing in these things and you, you're not getting any enjoyment on it, I, I'm sorry to tell you that it's a really, really terrible investment because it's gone nothing but down. And you could have easily, easily invested in something that was much better. Um, much, much better. Like the S&P 500, if you own that. I mean, I'm not talking about, oh, you're so smart, you know NVIDIA. Okay, I get it, NVIDIA. <laughs> or you're so lucky slash smart, you bought Bitcoin. You know, with that Edwin dude, the engineer, he's getting like, he doesn't actually know where these like pro Bitcoin comments. I posted his stuff on a Bitcoin Reddit and they just hate him. 
he just hated the dude because he kept saying that Bitcoin would like go down in value or it was like fake or something. I don't know what he was saying, but he's uh, he responds to every comment. So give Edwin credit for that, uh, as well as being the biggest alpha investment simp of all time, right? So you put money in these card games because someone tells you. You put money in MetaZoo, Flesh and Blood. You know, I could have put Flesh and Blood here. Monarch First Edition was going for five hundred dollars a booster box. Rudy was selling them for that. People were buying it. In fact, people wanted to buy more of it. That's why Rudy was able to charge more per box than MSRP. And that's why Rudy was able to charge way more per box than like it is worth today. I think Monarch First Edition is worth, what, $80, $100 a box? Um, regardless, you have a situation that is quite bizarre, uh, in my personal opinion. And the reason I think it's a little bit bizarre, and again, this is just me speaking... You could have put the money in NVIDIA. You could have put the money in Bitcoin. You could have put the money in like S&P 500. You could have put the money in a mother effing CD for 4 or 5% APR. You'd be a hell of a lot better off. Even even Pokemon, I hit a shit ton, man. I have Evolving Skies boxes out the wazoo. I would much rather have put it into a S&P 500 or the U-Pro. I mean, QQQ, right? I could have done putting it QQQ. Because um, the money's easier, it's more liquid, um, there's you know, more of a respect level when you tell people you invested in stocks than uh, children's card games. And I, I still enjoy it. Um, I think one of these live streams I ripped like a hundred, yeah, it must have been a hundred, maybe 200 packs from uh, ETBs. I had a great time. Now, do I regret ripping them? Yes. <laughs> now, now in hindsight, I should have kept them. All I got was uh, a... Uh, all I got was basically the Dragon Knight V Alter. So I should have been glad that I just got that, right? And that's when I quit. I couldn't continue on. Uh, at one time, I pulled $5,000 from Moonbrion. In hindsight, you know, that $5,000 of product is probably worth $10,000 today. I'm not saying you can't make money from it. I'm just saying the money that you can make is so difficult. You got every teenager, every, you know, college student, every, like, person out there trying to make money from this. There's only so much money. I think that's MetaZoo is a very, very um, interesting lesson in TCG history. A lot of people lost a lot of money. There's no doubt in my mind. I think the, the sheet of paper says that 20, they were making $21 million of revenue. Guys, that's a lot. That's a lot of money effing money. A lot of people bought into this game for more than that. That's the revenue the game was making. Um, can you imagine the revenue that. Um, other people, because obviously they're selling these boxes that were supposed to be one hundred dollars for eighty two or eighty two hundred dollars, right? This exact box that we're looking at right now that's forty one dollars. Yeah. Oh, you you can or thirty five dollars. Excuse me, it's gotten a little lower. Anyway, my guys, 